Hi, once again, welcome to Riverside Monthly. I'm Steve Brazel, your host, and this is the episode for this month that I've been looking so forward to, getting to know our new mayor, Mayor Locke Dawson. Mayor, how are you? Oh, I'm great, Steve. Thank you. I'm I'm happy to be back on the show now in a different capacity as mayor. As you know, you and I have, I think, uh, been on the show together a couple times in the past. Yes, yes, we have. And Mayor Patricia Locke Dawson was elected last year, is the new mayor for the city of Riverside. And I am so happy to have you in the city and looking so forward to what you're doing. But I want to get to know you as as the non-mayor title a little bit. You grew up in Riverside in the Greenbelt area. You graduated from Notre Dame High School. I'm kind of curious because it's always kind of an interesting way people get to to choosing to serve in an elected type office. So how did that upbringing kind of lead you into a public service life? Growing up in the Green Belt, honestly, um, in, instilled in me a love of the outdoors because, I mean, my brothers and sisters, you know, my mom wouldn't let us in the house until the streetlights came on. I think a lot of people of my generation felt that way. We were outdoors a lot. Um, and so, you know, I went into forestry and wildlife and a career in the outdoors. Um, and when I when I started working that professional capacity, I... I felt like I was a pretty good scientist, pretty good wildlife biologist, but I was a better policymaker. And I kept getting dragged into things like that. And that was, so I found that I could be more effective um, advocating for the things that I love in a different role than what I had trained to be. See, that's interesting because you kind of went into an area that was tangential to this. And while while serving in that capacity, your eyes were open to other things. You graduated from UCR, graduate studies at University of Washington, but it's in between that that I think what you're alluding to. So in between UCR and University of Washington, you were a park ranger? I was. I was a national park ranger, flat hat, uniform, everything. Um, I served in both the Bryce Canyon National Park, where I met my husband, I will I will say. A- another Californian. We had to go all the way to Utah to meet. Um, and I, gotta I was do at Bryce what you got to do. <laughs> Bryce Canyon, and I was at Mount Rainier National Park up in the state of Washington, both. In Riverside, you've been a longtime advocate for the Santa Ana River. And obviously, the name of the city is Riverside. What what can the Riverside, the San, what can the Santa Ana River, be for Riverside and the the surrounding communities? What what potential is there? Well, as many know, who perhaps watched the state of the city and have been following my career here over the years, I want to put the river back in Riverside. We have for a very long time turned our backs on the river, which means we did all our industrial work there. We've, you know, um, used it just to, to take water out for industrial uses. And it's it's never been celebrated for the resource that it is here, which could be a beautiful natural area, a mosaic of, of uses from the headwaters of the San Bernardino Mountains to the coast of the Pacific Ocean, you know, uh, a, a different a patchwork of open areas, natural areas, developed parks, bike paths, a place where families can come together, you know, across generations, across the city. Um, That's my dream. Well, think about how many people know and utilize the Santa Ana River bike trail. And yet, like you say, taking it beyond that, there is so much opportunity there. But I kind of want to go back to something we talked about a second ago, because I, I keep thinking about this. Former National Parks Ranger environmental scientist, mother of three daughters. What causes that human being to go, I'm going to run for office? <laughs> what, I mean, seriously, what's the what's the trigger that that makes you think, because there's a lot of ways to serve. I mean, a park ranger is a service, you know, job. What 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 is that that little line that gets crossed that says, I think an elected office is where I can do the most good. Well, I think like many people, um, it's a, it's sort of a, um, a progression, right? A progression of different roles that you play that you realize there's, 
something else you could be doing that could be helpful. Um, when I was on the planning commission for the city of Riverside, I did that because I wanted to advocate for open space and conservation, and that was something I could do within the, that role. Uh, when I started having children and they were growing up, I got very interested in education of my children in the school board, and so I thought I could really help there, and I ran for the school board. And when I did that, I was the only board member who had children in school, and I had one at elementary, middle, and high school. That's so I thought I could really help here. And right. then um, when uh, Mayor Bailey decided to leave, um, he asked if I would be interested in running for office and for the mayor. And I thought, boy, that brings kind of everything all to bear here. Education, environment, you know, right. family, growing up here, all can come to bear in serving the citizens of Riverside. Kind of a kind of a unification of all of your points of view, uh, a way for you to unify them in a message. Mayor Bailey comes to you and says, you know, this, you should do this. Is it what you expected now that once you, once you open the door and go through that doorway, quite often there are surprises. So what's been the biggest surprise and overall, has it been what you expected? Um, honestly, Steve, it has been what I expected. I'm not just because I've been in public service and in government and elected office for so very long. I, I didn't mention, I was also a gubernatorial appointee um, in a mental health services capacity. So that's also something that I think is very much something that I would bring to bear here. So there hasn't been a lot of surprises there. And honestly, um, in some respects, the school district was a, a very complicated place to be, which prepared me well for the city. So none of that was a surprise. I think what's been surprising is just how I know this is crazy, but just how welcoming and wonderful and eager people are to help and see you succeed. You know, it's it's you you get in this mindset that, oh, you know, I've got to get this work done or um, there's, you know, so much to do. And people want to help and they're there. And Riverside is such a wonderful place to, to tap into all that creativity and resourcefulness of our of our citizens. It really is. And I think it's one of the most misunderstood is I, I think the word I'm looking for is that government is so often the people you see after you walk through the door that are in cubicles. And it's 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 those people that are standing behind the mayor working to help get that vision right through. You were you mentioned advocating for students and, and, and parents as a member of the RUSD board, having been elected mayor last November. You mentioned that RUSD was, you know, kind of a complex scenario to navigate through being on that board. What are some of the similarities between being on a school board and being more in the city government type world? And for that matter, are there any huge differences that you found? Well, you know, it's I appreciate you asking that because there's there's so many similarities in that, um, you know, running a large organization, a large corporation is the same anywhere you go. There are budget issues, right. there are personnel issues, there are goals you're trying to get done. Those are all the same things that we had at the school district. And um, I don't know if you know, but the school district is actually larger than the city. So it has more employees. Really? And it's, yeah, it is. It's bigger. And, and so it's got, um, I think, 4,300 employees. The city has 2,500. So it's a bigger, it's a bigger organization. It has a bigger footprint. It's, um, larger bright square mileage as well. So in it was very similar in that way to come over at running a large organization. Um, and so, and, and while education is wonderful and I served my time for nine years there, now it's, it's, it's really cool to be able to open up and do other things. And as I said before, bring all that stuff that I'm interested in and other people are interested in to bear in this office. Okay, so then here's the question I need to ask them. With, with all of this background, environmental scientist. Park Ranger is still going to stick in my head for a couple of days. Oh, you're not going to let that go. I, I, no, and I'll tell you why, because I need to see the hat. Yeah. You don't have it with I you have to by get chance. you some pictures. Yeah. Um, with that, the school board, the being a parent, the caring about the Santa Ana River environmental area and how it can contribute to the city, all of that coming together is the mayor's vision for the city of Riverside. So I'm, I'm curious... For somebody who does not know you, who does not get to to you know really dive deep, what is that that helicopter view of your vision for the city of Riverside? And 
I guess for that matter, where can people go to find out more about it? Wow. Helicopter view is that I want to work for a city where people can live where they work. They're not driving away where um, our parks are open, accessible, beautiful, where there are jobs and businesses are thriving, both large and small, where people feel included and they are able to, um, you know, find the opportunities they want to, to live and work here. Someplace for families and all ages to thrive. And uh, I think you could probably go see more about that at my, my website, which is riversideca.gov forward slash mayor. So you can go look there. Okay. And so first of all, I need to say again, congratulations on the election. I love having you in the city of Riverside. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, it's at Mayor Lock Dawson. Facebook, it's City of Riverside Mayor Patricia Lock Dawson. Madam Mayor, congratulations. Thank you so much for doing Riverside Monthly with us today. And uh, I hope that you stay safe and enjoy the job. Thank you, Steve. I hope so too. I, it's off to a good start. And to everybody for Riverside Monthly, we've got four segments this month. Make sure that you check out each and every one, each and every month. We've always got great topics and some serious ones. We've got a couple of fun ones this month as well. This is Riverside Monthly. I'm your host, Steve Brazel, and we will see you on the next show. Mm -hmm.